A lot of people think that space is just an empty vacuum, but there's actually a lot of charged particles in space. One of the projects that we're involved in here at Los Alamos is a NASA satellite mission studying the Van Allen radiation belts. The population of the most energetic charged particles in our near Earth space environment. The really energetic electrons of the radiation belts are energetic enough that they go right through the outer skin of the satellite, they get embedded in electronics, and it can destroy a whole component of a satellite. And if it's a component of the satellite that is critical, the whole satellite's dead and you can't recover it. So these internal charging events from the radiation belts are kind of the number one cause of complete catastrophic satellite failure. One of the things that Los Alamos does is we build the instruments that monitor the nuclear test ban treaty that says we all agree we're not going to test nuclear weapons in space. GPS satellites that everyone knows for navigation and so on carry sensors that monitor this test ban treaty and they fly right through the radiation belts. So understanding the radiation belts helps us ensure the national security mission by making sure that the satellites that we depend on are reliable and will uh, continue to provide that information. So another aspect of space weather that um, we can see here on the Earth, actually the most visible is when you have storms in space, you get the northern lights and the southern lights. Electrons that come down the magnetic field line hit the atmosphere and make it glow. The electrons carry a lot of electrical current and that current then goes through our atmosphere where it can induce currents in power lines, pipelines, basically any long conducting surface. And so as our power grid becomes more complex, more interconnected, it becomes more vulnerable to these kinds of space storms. What we want to do is we want to understand the physical processes that create those conditions in space, but even more focused on the applications. 